Hello everyone, Wapit here. So today, I'm gonna go over Seattle's secondary and what I think of it as a whole. Bradley McDougal. Good safety. Um, I would say for the what they're paying him, he's worth every penny. You know, Last year, he was definitely the top safety on the team um, when Earl Thomas went out with an injury. And he's the leader of the secondary, I would say, at this point. You know? And he's a veteran presence at that point. And he he's a great player, and I think that the strong safety position is fine with him at it. Trey Flowers, a fifth round pick who was originally a safety and Seattle said, hey, we're converting you to cornerback. And Trey Flowers wasn't supposed to start this year, but due to injuries to Byron Maxwell and Deontay Thompson, uh, I'm black, ex 49er cornerback, they who they removed or cut, that meant Trey Flowers was starting. And Trey Flowers played pretty well for a fifth rounder learning the position. You know, he was a pretty good cornerback, I would say. No interceptions, but three forced fumbles, so that is pretty good. Plus, he's a pretty tall guy. 6-3 for a cornerback. Uh, Nikhil Thorpe is back. I would say more just a, a backup role. Special teams master type of player. Akeem King played really well against tight ends. Shut down Travis Kelsey in the Chiefs game. Good player. Shaquille Griffin. Alright. Everyone was saying how he was going to be, like, really good this year. Or, you know, comparing to Richard Sherman. And people saying Seattle should kind of get depth and replace him. Or try to, or demote him to a, you know, the second string corner. I would say give the guy a chance. Yeah, he did struggle at times, but... You know, it's his first year as a full... Or it's actually his second year, sophomore slump, I think. He can work on some things and in his third season and become a solid cornerback. Plus, it doesn't help... Um, when the defensive line only has two players that are playing really, really well and creating pass rush as a whole, you know? Creating pressure on the quarterback because that leads to interceptions because the quarterback isn't exactly, you know, throwing the ball safely because he's trying to get out, out as fast. Or you know, fumbles, or just turnovers. It helps to have a D-line that um, is creating pressure because it makes the cornerbacks less, um, they don't have to stay covering one man because that man will eventually get, beat them, you know? It's just how football is played. You can't play for 10 seconds easily. <laughs> That's why getting um, the D-line to be solidified is a priority, I would say, for Seattle. Seattle lost Justin Coleman. Pretty good slot player. All right tackler. I mean, he was shaky sometimes, which was a problem. But they only got him for a seventh rounder. You know, pretty good player for a seventh rounder. 
Oh uh, yeah, he went to the Lions on a big deal. And I'm happy Seattle didn't sign him to that, to be honest with you. Killon Reed. A uh, cornerback who hasn't gotten many opportunities. Has arm length, the size, athleticism, but hasn't really been taught, you know? There's a great read from Alistar online about Kalon Reed. I think he could become a starter if he does not get beat out by Akeem King. Free safety. Alright, the position where I would not be mad if Seattle drafted. Tedrick Thompson. An okay player, you know, not the same ball hawk he is in, or was in college, and his tackling is really what worries me, because he misses tackles. And you can't do that in the NFL, you know, and survive on the team, because the whole thing with football is protect. You know, defensive is tackling and stopping the player, you know? And if you miss tackles, that's not a good thing. Delano Hill played pretty well for... Before he got injured, I would say. You know, when he did have starts, and I think it's a depth thing where you bring another safety to compete and help out. I think Seattle does like Tedrick Thompson, so they're not going to sign, like, you know, gigantic name player. Or, they didn't, because they like Tedrick Thompson and they think they have talent. He has talent. Same with why they haven't signed a cornerback, pretty much. Plus, they want to save on comp picks. So, pretty much, I would say that the secondary is... Still very young, you know. Oldest player is McDougal. And yeah, I would say that just give it time and it'll become a solid secondary. Pete Carroll's one of the best secondary coaches in the league, alright? He knows his stuff. He can find uh, nickel corners out of nowhere, you know. Everyone was worried about Jeremy Lane not playing well, and who's going to be a slot corner. And then, well, there was Justin Coleman, you know, traded for a seventh rounder, playing really well. Getting the pick six off Dak. So, I would say that this team has talent, secondary-wise. They're just young, they just need to learn, and they need a more consistent D-line. So anyway... Like, comment, and subscribe. See you later. Goodbye.